Hello, we're here today with Ian Kennedy from Essential Communications. Ian, tell us what you do. Well, as manager of Essential Communications, I lead a team of facilitators providing workshops and communication skills from interpersonal communications through to workplace feedback to team building with a subset in diversity and customer service. What I do, what I personally do, and what I love to do is I teach presentation skills. I work with people to focus, craft, and deliver their presentations. When I say focus the presentation, I'm referring to starting with the end in mind so that your presentation is audience focused. When I talk about crafting the presentation, I'm referencing the language you use, the images you use, and the stories you tell. So to craft a presentation, you wanna use very strong language. You wanna use the most powerful word you can find. And when it comes to crafting, we wanna use imagery, powerful imagery, vivid imagery, because people are gonna recall those, that language and those images. But people are gonna recall more than anything, the stories that you tell. Stories that are related to, stories that are related to the topic you're talking about. So it's often people will, even a fine, excellent presentation, sometimes people, 24 hours later, can't even remember what you were talking about. Yeah. They barely remember being at the presentation because it's not because of your presentation, it's because their lives are so busy. They have so many things going on that a day later, oh yeah, I went to something yesterday, I don't recall. But what we know about stories is they may recall that story three days later, five days later, 10 days later. And in recalling the story, it takes them back to the content. It hooks, it, the story is the hook. It takes them back into the content. Now they remember your presentation. So stories are very important. Stories are incredibly important hooks within a presentation to create memorability. When we spoke oh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about a story about the $5 more pricing strategy. We yes. always charge $5 more than whatever our customer, our client, our competitors are. And it's Great story. a story that, that has a hook to it that people can remember instead of a PowerPoint with a whole bunch of numbers and slides. That's right. So crafting. We want those stories, yeah. Crafting the story that's memorable. Yeah. So who are your ideal clients? Individuals and organizations. And in that organizations are made up of individuals. Let me rephrase that. Individuals and individuals within organizations. Right. And particularly those people who've come to understand that there's nothing that can move your career further forward faster than having excellent presentation skills. There are people, sometimes experts, subject experts, who are overlooked for promotion or prestige positions because they lack quality presentation skills. They become their own best kept secret because they avoid making presentations. When they do make presentations, they're very flat and the flat presentation is not grabbing anybody's attention. So we're not looking at them as star players. They're just people on the team. Right. But if they had, I mean, if they're super smart experts, you think they would know this. So then why don't they present well? Well, I would suggest the real reason why most people don't present well is to do with their energy, their nerves, their anxiety. The nerves and the anxiety get in the way and they Yep. They take the presentation hostage. It is something, so you have this whole thing work out in your head. It's going to be just like this, but that's not what happens when you get into the room or you go on the Zoom. And what we do and the work that we do is we help people rechannel that energy to use it for yourself rather than against yourself. When we rechannel that energy and we start focusing that energy in, in the positive light, then we start creating the presentations that we had in mind when we started it. It's you know, funny how everybody gets coaching for golf or sports or whatever, and they forget how much they need coaching for things like business, things like presentation skills or business management. You know, I went to school for it, but school doesn't teach you the real world, which is what you're talking about. Right. I mean, super, these are super subject matter experts. So obviously they're experienced and they're trained, but they don't have training in presentation skills, which is like, one more tool in the toolkit that allows them to succeed. It's also in circles back to the interview process itself, because mm -hmm. you need the super strong presentation skills in the interview. Yep. So whether it's in the room or by the Zoom, we coach people 
to have better presentations. And, and I'll tell you, the, the other thing is I am, you are, we are now dragging into week five or six of this pandemic. Is it six? Is it five? It just feels like six months. Anyhow, we're in the midst of this pandemic and whether it's online or on the TV, you can't help but turn it on, find some talking head, delivering us the facts that we need to know and the data that we need to know. And some of them do it very well. And some of them are subject experts, but they lull me to sleep within two sentences. Yeah. So they, again, whether you're using a teleprompter or reading from a script, you can still learn to do this effectively and still engage with and connect with your audience. So and what would be your tip then for people watching this about what they can do while they're in isolation or their number one tip for working in isolation to solve that problem? Well, when in this period of isolation, my tips for people in this time is to keep working. Mm -hmm. And I think my first reaction, I think many people's first reaction is we're working out, we're working full tilt and it's, we're just got things going on everywhere. And then suddenly it all stops. Yeah. So as it all stops, my tendency, but maybe others too, was to stop as well. Okay, good. Holiday. Fabulous. Let's rest a while. So I did. I took some time. I didn't do much of anything. I thought, oh my goodness, look at all these things I haven't cleaned up around the house. And my mind went jelly. But it's okay because we need those rests, but the rest can't go on forever. So then we need to jump back in and we need to work again. We need to work creatively. We need to be very smart about what we do now and reinvent, reinvent how we do the work that we do okay. so that we can have an impact and discover new markets. And part of that, I mean, I, I told you this story uh, earlier, is the restaurant on the Danforth, it's called City Betty. They were creative, they are a restaurant, they have trouble, they, you know, they want to keep going. They actually physically put in a takeout window in the front of their storefront. Yep. Eat more easily facilitate people coming and getting the food in a safe manner. And they, they, they thought it and they acted on it. And I think many of us think of it, but then we don't act on it. So it's not only being creative, it's acting on your creativity, not talking yourself out of it by, oh, that would be a lot of work. It would be a lot of work and you have nothing else to do right now, so do a lot of work. You know, on top of that, Wayne, the other thing that I would add is I think this is a great time to reach out to people, to build your network, to build stronger relationships, to go back to your colleagues, your customers, to touch base with them again, and to, to solidify those relationships through this time. So yeah. it's not a time to take a rest. This is not the time to be the real estate agent that puts all the for sale signs in the garage and forgets about them. The time to keep Interesting. working. Interesting. I've, I've talked to two or three real estate agents. A couple of them have gone to sleep and a couple of them are just revved up and, and they're sort of like, okay, there's all these listings that are, that are expiring and I can go help them and they're old real estate agents asleep. So it's time to make money in real estate. And so how would our audience find you? You can find us through www.essentialcommunications.ca. That's the website. Or you can reach me personally at ian at essentialcommunications.ca. Okay. And, and you, Wayne, you, know, you might have noticed you have that I do like to talk. Presence. Sorry. <laughs> That's me talking again. You do know that I like to talk. So let me give the phone number as well. Okay. You can reach out to me and phone me at 416-461-8754. Okay. And you have a significant presence on LinkedIn. So that will be on the screen as well. Great. Thank you. Ian, thanks very much. Have a safe day and keep on helping people. Great. Well, thanks for reaching out, Wayne.